Shall we dig deeper, my friends? We have to go deeper. Shall we? Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Ah, oh, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. This is why he wants to go to the moon. Dude, you should totally give this series a try! I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome! I've already plowed through three books straight! What's it called? Animorphs! It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs! Eh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great! Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're like all like, rawr, rawr! And then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew, 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 pew. Stop that. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm going to be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy bu but every kid <laughs> and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What? You're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train, fair and square. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing? And... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right? I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Alright, let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain? Come on! Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> fruits, fresh fruits, apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits. Uh, yeah they are. They are the ovaries of the plants and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But, come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? And by that logic, that makes ketchup a smoothie. Think of that. <laughs> I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train! That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train! Now, now, John. Don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too! He just went first! Hee <laughs> hee, it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. You know what? I'm gonna call you Dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. <laughs> hey, is that whack-a-mole? 
Whack a what? Whack a mole. You take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. <laughs> how primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where do you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything in the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Uh okay. Ah, ah, ah. What is a point and click adventure without some mini games? I'm the whack a mole king. Oh, damn it. Time's up! Let's see now. Out of 42 appearance, you struck 47 times, you made 41 successful hits. 97% hit rate. It's your new record. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we did have to do that. Ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one night just... This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my! Come on, I'm getting both of you treats. Hey, 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 where's my tip? Where is to the moon? I mean, it's gotta be a childhood memory. He said he doesn't know why. I mean, it... Alright, we don't necessarily want to go that way yet. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not! Does it even work? Absolutely not! Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know. Don't care. I feel like I'm playing Chrono Trigger again. That'll go that way. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. No, I don't even want to taste regular olives. That's where that comes from. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Yeah! Nah. I'm done, though. Can I go to play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it! So that's where the pickled olives come from. His brother liked them. Figure that out on your own, Togoth? Yes, I did. Alright, so that's where that one led. Just making sure there's nothing else over here. a memory. Oh, what are we missing? This? Yes. Is this where he meets? He said not to go over here. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Your your mommy said not to. Mommy's gonna be mad at you. Oh, 
What is it, dude? Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. Let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well... I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Uh-huh. Oh, shit! <laughs> I told you packs of tigers dwell here! Joey? River. Hello? Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. You were spot? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Just look at him. Did you know that there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then? Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. What's wrong with that? Huh? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. 
It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Uh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. <laughs> Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things, never try to wrap it, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and stop. I see it. Uh, where? In the sky. Uh, but where in the sky? Think big. Huh? Bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right? There are the two ears and head. What else? And there... There are its two feet. The body. Yes. What else? And... And the moon! The moon is its big round belly. That was the answer. <sighs> so, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses? Stuck at the far end of the sky? Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a... thing. I don't really know what it is. the platypus. Oh. It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Yeek! That's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget, or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Oh, right on the rabbit's tummy. <laughs> Oh, man. No, no. Coming. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. Oh, God.
they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood drama story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. Oh. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we were contracted to do. Damn it, Ava, wait! Ava. I know you're in here. This is all your fault. Stuffed toy platypus. Why does he want to stop her? I mean, I guess it's the pain of knowing your brother again. Turn around. Neil, I know what you're planning to do. I know what you know. Yeah, well, I know what you know that I know. Look, our contract is to send him to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? Oh, the reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... That's the contract! I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Ava. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy. Me too. And I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligation, we'd be in for court hearings. We'll appeal. We know what Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her, and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her? And besides, I'll make up for it. Make up for it how? We're running out of time. Just trust me. Says the one who pushed me off the effing lighthouse. Did you just... Freaking light data. Abusing your power doesn't disable my controls entirely, Ava. Booby traps? Really, Ava? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. Oh. Oh! Those are some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously? Just stay put and wait till I'm done. Oh, piss off. Ah. Oh, man. Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying. Please, this won't take long. Ah, uh, not again. Or, come and find me at the end of the hall. Oh, you've gotta be freaking kit! Is this a game to you, Ava? Dear Lord, they aren't just zombie Havas. <laughs> They're zombie. <laughs> just don't come any closer. Wasty on the keyboard to shoot. <laughs> God, go away, Havas. Zombie Havas. How do I... But I...
Oh, okay. Whew! These things are good for something after all. Zombavas! Oh, God. Walking Dead all over again. Damn it! Go away, Zombavas! To a race river, though, is... I don't... I don't know how to cross that. Going down isn't the answer. In that... Oh! This whole thing is just a loop! Oh, F this! Huh? What the? Ava? What happened? Ava? Memories being ripped away. Ava, you idiot. No. <laughs> We're the only ones here. Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? What did you do to her? Relax, she's merely going elsewhere. You know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser. There's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for... this? Forget it. There's no time. Everything will be all right, man. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, what are you... Shh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? 
Sorry, kid. It's already started. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same, sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Oh, Joey! Totally! And olive refills are just steps away! Ah, olives. Saving him doesn't justify it. You can always find another river, Neil. But he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. Real work of art. He actually made it, huh? You sound surprised. <laughs> Whatever happened to we always succeed because we're awesome? This isn't a success. 
Oh, lighten up. We're in NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's at least check this place out. I was using the uh, arrow keys to move. I wonder if you could do that the whole game. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. Gee, she really likes this backpack. How pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl. That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. To the Moon. The story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. Novel by Joey Wiles. Can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. Of memory. Hey, no. Hey. There we go. <laughs> um, is it just me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? Uh, first floor. Is this where we were? Yeah, okay. I didn't know whether they started us at the ground floor. Easy enough? Let's explore. So, do you think last century's moon landing was... Let's not, Neil. Let's not. This is the Mission Control Center. There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I have expected to see Zordon on that screen. It's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. It's not here. Is she looking for the pl platypus? Or did she actually write River in, but just later? I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. <laughs> she had to have written River in, right? Your records are excellent, but we'll have to monitor your status closely in the coming sessions. And here's the centrifuge. The Vomit Comet? If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, yes, the spinny thingy. It's not here either. What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have long left. It's kind of a scary thought to rewrite someone's memories. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Ugh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Uh, you need to work on your communication skills. Whoa! Yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. <laughs> oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. <laughs> Indeed, especially its nose at the top. When maintenance finishes, it'll probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. <laughs> Thanks, game. 
Little fourth wall there, huh? Back down to the first floor. Boom, boom. I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, oh, yeah. A wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. It's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David. He's mission specialist. Nice to meet you. At least he got into NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link, then. I'd hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I... I don't know. Yep. <laughs> ah, and here's our other new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. Whew. I almost thought she wasn't... What the... Ugh, Ava! But you... Deleted her! No, I told you, I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to... Her. But this new world, it's based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain... It all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How were you sure that it'd work? I wasn't. It could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. Aww. We still have the two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny'd appreciate some company. He wrote it himself, apparently. Rather repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the Moon. I like that name.
Oh, there you are. You two should go get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. Oh, like getting choked up here. I want to be an astronaut too, Dad. One day, son, you just might. Eh. Did you think that they would make it? Ha! Huh. Did you? No. The way she is, I didn't think she would succeed. But I... I guess I was wrong. All the better, then, isn't it? Yes, I'm happy for them. You know, that's my brother in that shuttle. Wow! Yep, I once wrote a book about this, too. With a less optimistic ending. Ha, <laughs> I might have to change that after all. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah, Ava's the one who requested it. Do you find out why you wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And what all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. You know, there were quite a few times last night when I thought we lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Go on now, your colleague's waiting. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off the traffic, eh? Sure, even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? Come up here. Uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? <laughs> Probably. But the view's worth the odds. Come on! Oop. Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them.
I'm speechless, folks. That was, uh... beautiful. That was... God, that was an incredible game. You know, there, there is a lot of talk as to our game's art, and uh, any of you who follow me know that I, I hold by that very strongly, that video games are art. They, um, they are perhaps one of the greatest mediums for expressing art, as, you know, it can combine so many other elements together. I mean, this was just beautiful. It it really was uh, just a beautiful game. The music in it is incredible, and it, it really does go to show that graphics aren't needed. Amazing game gameplay or any of that isn't isn't really required. Uh, th this is what I play games for, is the storylines. And when you've got a storyline like this that just touches you so much, I mean, it it's incredible. That was a beautiful game. This is... This is truly a work of art. Here he is! Thanks, off you go now. I'm like still choked up a little. <laughs> I still can't believe Johnny just willed the house to Lily like that. <laughs> Who else was there to give it to? Us? Terrible place for burials, though. If there's a landslide, they'd be swimming with the fishes. Still, a little too soon. <laughs> Nah, it's never soon enough. Nike's new ringtone. Hello, Ava here. We're on our way. New patient? New patient. Let's roll. We don't have a car. Oh, crap. Yeah, the painkiller thing is an odd... Oh. So there'll be more. I eagerly look forward to if there are other ones out, or, or whatever. Folks, I, I do hope you enjoyed listening and uh, joining me on this adventure as much as I enjoyed playing it. It, it really touched me in a way that... Uh, I haven't been in a game for a while, and I'm, I'm glad I could share that with all of you. Uh, this was... This was truly amazing. And, um, you know, we'll see what comes. But it, it's amazing. Limited gameplay, uh, not even that long of a game, you know, but worth every single penny, and then some. I think I paid eleven dollars for the game. I, I would have been, it wouldn't have been wasted had I spent twenty. Uh, I mean, it's, it was beautiful, it really was, and I can't. I have a hard time expressing in words just how beautiful this game is. This is, you know, before I go into a long spiel about the games and everything like that. Um, I, I really needed a, a good, amazing storyline to kind of bring me back, so to speak, and I, I was really touched by this game. I was, I was really touched. I, bravo to Freebird Games. This was, this was incredible. So, folks, I do hope you enjoyed this short, but probably 
one of the best games that I've played in a long, long time. Thanks for watching, everybody. It is greatly appreciated.